baby, we're in. We are in SEMA 2022. <laughs> Look where I'm at. I'm at the Overland Experience. So, in traditional mixed flip fashion, I'm gonna go ahead and do a walkthrough of the Overland Experience and just kinda try to soak up everything. I'm gonna try to walk by everything and just show you guys what I see here. So I see a Tough Stuff Overland rooftop tent on this badass 4x4 van. It's a Ford. They don't even, I don't even think they make these anymore. These 4x4 vans. What kind of lining is that? It's tough. It's got, it's got a tough lining on there. That's nice. Check out that suspension, man. Holy shnikes. And it's solid axles. Leaf springs up front. That's old school, man. Got the leaf springs. One winch. Bunch of LEDs. KC lights up there. I love this awning, man. Got this huge Yo, what's up? awning. How are you, man? Good to see you. I like this awning. When you're out in the desert or out just in the sun in general, these awnings are like a lifesaver, man. Seriously. Serious lifesaver. Keeping that sun off your head. They bolted a Pelican rack back here. It's got his high lift jack. Full size spare. These guys are from Tennessee. You gotta have a ladder to get up there. You got a ladder to get to your gear and a ladder to get to your uh, rooftop tent. I like how this thing kind of like zigzags all the way up. That's cool. Let's see if I can get a shot of this thing. That's actually a pretty cool tent. I like that. Alright. Look at this. Oh, Scout. We got a Scout Campers. I did a video of these guys at Overnight Expo a while back. This is an F-350. Woo, that's beautiful, man. It's got a Boeing utility bed on the back with a gazillion storage containers. I did an interview with Boeing at Overland Expo as well. This is the Kenai. That's nice. I like these guys. They're pretty uh, lightweight. And then they have that cool rooftop tent where there's a hole where you can go in the rooftop tent from the camper. That's pretty wild. I remember seeing these guys last year. The anti-gravity batteries. They got a cool vehicle. It's not open. Rhino rack. You see these guys everywhere. Oh, this is a new uh, Tundra. This is, I got one of these. So yeah, I gotta stop and say hi to a and give some love to a Tundra. Look at this. He's got a Rhino in the uh, Toyota badge. It's 3D printed. There goes your uh, bumper in the front. Of course, they gotta cut it. Very nice. This one's not even lifted. I think this is just. I think this is just um, stock height. It looks like it's stock height. Oh, C4. So you remember I was talking about how some companies will build the bumper around that rear bumper there? C4 is doing that. They go around it. So it protects the body. It does make it a little bit beefier and wider, but not by much. That's nice. All right. What's this? Coney, oh, suspension stuff here. So, yeah, performance sock, shock absorbers. It's got a nice little wrap on it. This is a Nissan. You don't see a lot of love for Nissans, man, but uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty good trucks. My wife used to have a Frontier. This one, this one's pretty cool. Not everybody needs a Tacoma, right? Of course, you gotta have a Tacoma, though. There's a Tacoma, Weston. That's a cool rack. I've never seen this before. So there's a roof rack made by Weston with the tracks. And then you can mount lights in it. It's actually pretty nice looking. I like how low profile it is. They also make the truck bed too. We got a Bronco over there. They got skeletons coming out of the uh, 
tense because it was Halloween yesterday. <laughs> oh, look at this. They got a little uh, park area. You can hang out. All right, let's see what's over here. Over here, what is this? Jeep and ADAX Overland. So it's a little tiny trailer. A little microscopic trailer for all your gear. Got a rooftop tent and an awning so you can get out of the sun. I'm just admiring your stuff. That's cool. It's so tiny. Yeah, it weighs 850 yeah. pounds. 850 pounds. So it's 1,200. Nice. And you can five by out. six Anybody bottom. You, you can what now? You can go anywhere you want. You can, yeah, something this small, you can go anywhere. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Bikes, tents, I love kayaks. It. Has power and refrigeration inside. It's got everything. Everything except the kitchen sink. But we have But that. you can put one if you yeah. want to. <laughs> Water That's awesome. Eight gallon. Oh, yeah, eight, eight gallons of water. That's cool. You just roll up to your campsite, unplug everything, and you just start cooking, and you can go to sleep in about a few minutes. That's cool. That's nice. I like that. It's very compact. You can put this. You can fit it in your garage too. That's the oh, best yeah. part, right? Yeah. A lot of these campers you can't fit. Oh, that's the big selling point. So people with people with Subarus, and she just said a side by side. You can pull this thing. You know, you can extend your camping adventure even if you have a little tiny vehicle. That's cool. I like it. Thanks, guys. What's this? Mars? I've never even heard of Mars. So this is Mars campers. I've never heard of these guys. This is all new to me, but you know what? They look pretty badass, man. Look at that suspension. Trailing arm suspension. Woo! Beefy, beefy. Reminds me of Black Series is what it reminds me of. Like literally it looks like Black Series. But these guys are called Mars. Same concept, super beefy frame, articulating hitch, rock protectors there. You got outside kitchen. That's cool. Jeez. You can cook outside. That's cool. Oh, wait a minute. This is Black Series. No wonder it looks like Black Series. It is Black Series. <laughs> I wonder. Nice big bed. Very nice. Oh, look at this. I've never seen this before. You got the dinette and a bunk above the dinette. I've never seen that before. That's cool. I love seeing stuff like that. Wow. Let's test it out here. There we go. All right, so you do have to be a certain size. Like I said, I'm 5'9 without shoes on. 5'10 with shoes on. I fit. You can get the job done. Eat, chill out, read a magazine, work on a computer. You can do it. You know what would be nice if this thing was adjustable? You could just go up a couple inches for taller people. That'd be cool. But yeah, I really like that, man. You can fit some kids up here, or maybe a dog, or. Oh, and then you have your nice little integrated stove and sink. That makes life easy when it comes to cleaning. Really tall, a really skinny refrigerator. That's cool. And then here's the big selling point. Bam! Beautiful toilet slash shower. Here's the shower. The shower is actually ridiculously big for a tiny camper. This is actually really big. And then there's your toilet over there. There's your fancy schmancy sink. Yeah, this is nice for a little tiny camper. Again, I've never seen a bunk over the dinette before. That's something I. that's new. Very cool. So this is a brand new travel trailer by Black Series. And as you can see, the entire rear end folds down kind of like a toy hauler, but it's not a toy hauler. It's more like a gear hauler. Stay tuned for my full video coming soon. And this Toyota Tundra is by Instagrammer and YouTuber sponsored by Wifey. Got a winch, LED lights, nice clearance. 
Total Chaos suspension or upper control arms, king shocks. I like these ditch lights. Baja designs with, um, this is like an antenna for com comms. Four wheel campers, shout out to my guys from Woodland, California. Four wheel campers, you guys rock. This is Project M, the topper that becomes a camper. Very cool. Yeah, my friend Kimo did a full video camping uh, in one of these things. I think he went to Yellowstone in this uh, type of camper. Watch his video if you want to see the details on that. Ice Co. Fridge. I got one of those. Cook Partner. I need to get one of these. I like these, man. These Cook Partner stoves. That's nice. Swing Away Tire. That is a beautiful Tundra, if I say so myself. I'm so biased because I own one. <laughs> Whoa! What the heck is this? Ford Super Duty. I don't even know which one. Is it a 350? Dude, what is this thing? It's like a stealth fighter. <laughs> what is this? Holy crap. So I don't know who makes this this bumper slash grill, this grumper. It very much reminds me of Fab Fours though, because they, they're famous for that. This looks like a Fab Fours Fenders too. It's all coated, some kind of durable coating all over this thing. What are those pods? Are those what are those pods? Are those sensors? Are those cameras? Are they, what are they? Like security? All right, so here's Truck House. These guys are from Reno, Nevada my hometown look at that so before the last time i saw this it was completely white just white and uh, if you don't know these guys make a composite rv it's like an rv shell composite you know there's basically a like one monocoque design but they put this digital camo on here that's kind of cool and there's tons of videos on truck house now but um yeah they've changed it up a little bit Battleborn batteries. I gotta get me some of those. Look at all this storage back here. Swing away tire carriers. But yeah, this is um, basically, I, if I remember right, it's all fiberglass, one big shell of fiberglass. Kind of like a boat, very much like a boat. You can see it has a cassette toilet in there. I like these big pop out windows. They're dual pane. I believe they're dual pane. I can't imagine them not being. But uh, yeah, it's crazy. Like this is where your water works. Look at that, and it's and the crazy part is it's built off of a Tacoma, not a Tundra. So they had to beef up the suspension to handle all this extra weight. And look, it has a manual transmission. Again, you don't see that very often. There's the uh, Battleborn batteries, and then there's a pass through right there. So if you wanted to come from the cab into the camper. There's your queen size bed. Look at that skylight. Oh man, that's so cool. See, that's what it looked like before. It was all white. That's the, uh, to I would assume that's the toilet and shower. There's your fridge and refrigerator. There's your cooktop with your little tiny sink. And then in the back, you have all that seating for like, you could probably fit four people back there, I would assume. And that probably converts to a bed as well. There's all your storage up top. Yeah, that's cool. This kind of reminds me of a really nice Toyota Dolphin. Remember the Dolphins? That's cool. I love it. Yeah, that's a quick look at the uh, truck house. Toyota Tacoma RV. That's amazing. All right, moving along. We got RRE, I think it is. I'm not familiar with these guys. RRE, they got a Mercedes, I think. That's a Mercedes Sprinter with a pop top roof. Oh, that's cool, man. Look at that. First off, they got a cool awning. Almost looks like a parachute. But yeah, that's cool. Look, it's a pop top rooftop tent that's integrated into the, the body. And then this one is blank. You can build it out any way you want. Oh, look at their seats. 
That's a Shiomon seat. I remember re uh, interviewing those guys at Overnight Expo. Some of the best seats on planet Earth when it comes to uh, long haul driving and stuff, and, and even racing. Amazing. Look at the material on the floor. They got the uh, track system to bolt stuff down. It's on the ceiling and the walls. That's nice. Uh oh, what is this? F-350, again, gigantic truck, gigantic wheels, a gazillion bolts, a gigantic bumper, <laughs> gigantic winch. This thing is huge. I can't even barely fit it in. And here's something I've never seen before. This has a pop-top tent on the roof. <laughs> that is amazing. I love it. That's cool. I've never seen one of these campers with a pop-top roof. It seems like that's a oh. thing this year. He's got a pop-top, they got a pop-top. Yeah, it's separate from the living quarters. I guess you go in, you from, go the in from inside the, the van. That's cool, man. That's starting to become a thing. Yeah, I love it, man. And of course, this is all composite. So no wood, very much like a boat, nothing to rot, probably a lightweight, and probably has a good R value for insulation. Oh, look at that. The, the entire wall just pops out. You can either use the window or open the wall for like a business. That's cool. I guess you can stand on here. I'm guessing that's what this is. Here, let's, let's go ahead and take the invitation to stand on here. Am I allowed to do this? Yeah. I saw people climbing up on it. All right, here we go. So you can't go inside, but you can stand outside. <laughs> so here's the back. It's like a little dinette. And if you want to park next to a lake you can just open up a wall and look out that's cool here's your AC there's ax there's like a I don't know if that's access to the roof I guess you could go to the roof right there but it's a it's like a what do you call that I don't even know I forgot what you call that what do you call that when you have a skylight that's what it is it's like a skylight right there and then you have all that cabinet space this is nice man oh look the table actually folds up too out of the way that's cool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sorry. So that's probably the bathroom. That's probably the bathroom, I would assume. Oh, you walk through the bathroom. That's what it is. So this is the wet area right here. So you take a shower and use the toilet inside this area. and just walk right through it. That's cool. Yeah, they're not letting anybody go inside, unfortunately. And of course, the bed's probably amazing. Pretty cool. Field van. These guys are out of Reno, Nevada as well, man. Got to give a shout out to the Reno folks. Beautiful Mercedes four-wheel drive. I think it's four-wheel drive. Let's, well, let's take a look. Yep, it's four-wheel drive. You got, what is this, CA Tune bumper? It's like a almost like a modified bumper with a winch. It's got rhino lining, big humongous roof rack with solar panels up there. I'm kind of just flying by everybody because I want to get everybody in. But uh oh look at this, it's got bunk beds, man. You can sleep on the bottom and you can sleep on the top, or you can put gear here as storage, either way. But that's cool, you can fit two beds right there. That's awesome. Nice bike rack, by the way. Is that one up? Uh, they're not letting you go in. I like the reversible seats. That's cool. That one doesn't reverse, but this one does. I'm guessing that's a toilet, if I had to guess. Probably, probably be a toilet in there. And then this chair can come out. You can literally unclip it from this rail and come out. It's got a little tiny fridge, a sink and stove. It's got a microwave up there. Look at the wood. The wood is gorgeous, man. AC, ventilation. This is nice. It's like a little home on wheels. All right, moving along. Look at this. It's a Jeep. Four-door Jeep. Something's going on here. What's going on? It's a Rubicon. What's going on? What is? What are we looking at here? What's the big selling point? Speakers. I know it's got speakers. It's got a rooftop. Oh, this is Overland Vehicle Systems. Yeah, they got, I just saw their booth. Oh, I see, it's electronics, yeah, speakers and stuff. 
Nice big awning. Oh, look at this. I like this color. It's a FDE, flat dark earth. This is a V8 Jeep Wrangler. A V8 Hemi. It's a V8 Hemi under the, you can tell because it says right here. 392. It's a Hemi. That thing got a Hemi? This thing's got a Hemi. Yeah, that's crazy, man. From the factory, it's got a Hemi V8 under the hood. Worn winch. Ginormous wheels. Falcon adjustable suspension. TerraFlex arms. Beautiful. From the factory, man, this comes with beautiful seats. That's nice, man. They took out the rear seats, made it all storage. Oh, look, he put Molly panels in the door so you can put anything you want on there. Jeez, man, this thing's like kitted up, man. You got shovels on the tire, fuel on the tire, firewood on the tire. Man, that's nice. It's got a little rack up here. They ain't messing around, man. Oh, here we go. Here's the back. Let's squeeze the hand. Yeah, nice little fold-out kitchen. Dometic free fridge. There's your cooktop. Oh, these are just like hikers stoves. Just like for hiking, keep it small and simple. It is a Jeep, so you don't have a lot of space. Solar panels on the roof. That's beautiful, man. And then over here, we got the gladiator truck. Dometic in the back. There's a stove, all kinds of camping gear, a Thule rack. Again, more of those Molly panels that i like that see look you can put in you put a cup holder on there that's cool oh he put molly panels on the top i've never seen that before on the freedom top here's another thing i've never seen before he bolted onto these bolts here and he's got ditch lights very cool all right one more oh off-grid trailers so over here we got the off-grid trailers booth they got a Pretty nice Chevy Colorado. These guys are from Alberta, Canada. And as you can see, they got a 23-0 rooftop tent with the uh, light suppressing technology. Those are pretty awesome tents. But yeah, they got a bunch of vehicles here. There's their truck. There's the Jeep Gladiator with the rooftop tent. And then there's the trailers. That's the Expedition 2.0 and their uh, adventure trailer. Yeah, this is one of the nicest off-road teardrop trailers you'll probably ever see. And I really like their kitchen setup because the uh, stove literally folds up into the wall and takes up very little space. So that's pretty nice. If you want to see the full detailed interview I did with these guys, uh, go to my channel. You'll see um, a link to the detailed interview I did at the Overland Expo. Uh, this is a look at their new adventure trailer. I think these are going to give the uh, Turtleback guys a lot of competition, that's for sure. Nice sink, by the way. But yeah, this is for the guys that have Jeeps that need cargo space. Bushwaka Adventure Gear. Look at that. So a rooftop tent with an awning. That's cool. Yeah, you can climb up here and sleep in the back of your truck. You can access your gear from the outside. I like this awning. Taruka Bushwaka. That's nice. It almost looks like a zebra. It's a F-250. There's a trailer by, uh, what is this? Trigger Accessory Control Systems. Oh, I see. It's like electronics. Watch out. Pittman. Oh, these guys are famous for truck bed can uh, tents. So, uh, they make air beds, that's what it is. You put the nice, if you don't want to buy a $100,000 camper, you could buy a bed, just throw it in your back and go camping, man. Let's put this bed, it's custom fitted for small, medium, and large trucks. And you could just go over landing for less than a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> that's awesome, man. I love it. I love your stuff, man. This is for the regular guy, right? All this other stuff is cool. Yeah, whatever. But this is for the regular guy right here. 600 bucks and you're 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 set man that's awesome man i love it i need to get one of these for my tundra i just bought a new tundra yeah yeah that's cool man very cool check them out Pittman outdoors is that the website too uh 
what's the website? I'll give you a shout out. www.truckairbeds.com. Truckairbeds.com. With a Z. Airbeds there we go. With a Z. With a Z yeah. yeah. Giving these guys some love because they got to compete with these hundred thousand dollar rigs, man. But this is where it's at right here, man. Look at this. They even have beds in the back. Look at this. You can fit in the back of your truck. You probably have to bend your knees if you want to fit in there. Probably better for like kids back here. Adults sleep there and the kids sleep here. That's cool. Very cool. Oh, look, they got like quick, quick uh, set up tents as well. If you don't know these tents, you could just literally throw it in the air and it'll like set itself up. And then they kind of wrap up into this, they wrap up into this little circle here. Oh, look, they even make uh, regular rooftop tents as well. That's cool. All right, we're almost done with the walkthrough of the Overland experience. We just have a couple more. I think we got this uh, ATV over here. Oh, check it out. So it's a Yamaha. This is a Yamaha utility vehicle. This is the Wolverine R Max. I like this, man. Super comfortable. If you're older and you don't want to be, you know, riding dirt bikes anymore, you're, maybe your back hurts or your whatever wrist hurt, you just want to chill with your family, maybe your grandkids. This is nice, man. And this converts into a truck bed, I think, if I remember right. And look, you can bring a camping system. A little trailer. This is by SNO. Never heard of these guys. It's got a Rome Adventure Company uh, rooftop tent. That's cool. Side by side or utility vehicle camping. And I think that is it, guys. That is my quick run through or walk through of the overland experience i hope you guys enjoyed it it's pretty cool uh, there's a couple spots in here i stopped and actually did some interviews but yeah that's a look at the overland experience at sema hit that like button to support my channel i appreciate it. it helps me out a lot ring the bell to be notified when i upload new videos and leave a comment below let me know what you thought about the overland experience at sema this year thanks a lot guys take care